A Lexington woman arrived in Texas for what she thought would be an exciting weekend at a Mrs. America competition, but soon the weather in Texas turned treacherous. Now she's been staying at a hotel without water, and she says she's one of the lucky ones. LAX 18's Elder Buckley has that story. Katie Secamilio had planned a quick trip to San Antonio, Texas last weekend, but Mother Nature had a different plan. All of us knew the risk to coming here but we didn't know the risk of being stuck here. It was Secamilio's first time flying since the pandemic began, so she took the right precautions during her flight. But what the Miss Kentucky representative, as well as millions of Texans, were not prepared for was for the weather to change drastically and quickly. On Sunday, February 14th, during their final competition, it began to snow, resulting in power outages and millions without heat. Honestly, my husband and I have traveled different places around the world, but this feels like a third world country. So with what is happening here currently, what's going on with the, the COVID-19 numbers? Like what's happening there? Um, because people don't have access to running water to wash their hands. There's unsanitary conditions. People are going to get sick and that may not be COVID-19. They may get sick just because of the fact of the lack of food and the lack of sanitation. And flights out of Texas keep getting delayed. Secamilio was supposed to leave this past Monday, but now she may not be able to get a flight until next Monday. And her hotel has no running water. But she says she's one of the lucky ones because she has heat and electricity, making the hotel she is staying in a refuge for elderly who are without food and heat, as well as for doctors and nurses who are being bused to hospitals to do life-saving work. It was, it was very emotional to watch what people are going through. I mean, I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm great. But to sit here and watch this and knowing that I can't help them, I can't get anything delivered for them. I can't do anything for them because everything is shut down from the mail to Uber to Uber Eats, taxis. There's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. Eleanor Buckley, LEX 18 News.